album, bro. Excuse Fuck me? with the album, bro. From if you want nothing but the album, man. Tell people to listen to the album, son. Tell all that album, because suck my... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Face Drama, and I'm back at it with another episode of Hip Hop Wow. Well, you know, <laughs> we talk about wow hip hop with a little bit of community news. You know how we do, you know how we do. Yo, 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 Slaughterhouse is about to be a slaughter. Your man Joe Buttons is crazy. Man, we're going to get right into it. Yeah. You know how we <laughs> do. For the most part, you know, Slaughterhouse. They, they not like a household name and all that, but like so on some underground shit, you know, people knew about them, you know what I mean? The younger generation, y'all drill rappers probably don't even, what the fuck is he talking about, a slaughterhouse? What the fuck is that? But listen, now, nah, it ain't about drilling. It's about four MCs. They all had individual, like, you know what I mean? Slight stardom. Joe Buttons was the biggest. Then, you know, Royce the 5'9". That was Eminem, man. Mm -hmm. Then you had the Cali Rhyme Slinger Crooked Eye and also the Brooklyn Native representative, my man, you know what I mean? Joel Ortiz, yeah. So the four rhyme slingers came together and they created this like super group or they so-called super group called Slaughterhouse, which was signed to Shady Records, Eminem record label. You know, it was safe to say that Eminem came in the game and he came in the game strong, you know what I mean? So whatever he had his hands in kind of went to the stars. Well, remember D12? He came in with a rap group called D12. Now Proof, R.I.P. Proof, you know what I mean? He was a lyrical... He was, he, Proof was on his way, you know what I mean? But I ain't gonna front them other dudes was trash, you know what I mean? They put out a little song, the Purple Pills and all that. Nah, I wasn't jacking that shit, you know what I mean? So I guess, you know what I mean, after they faded out, Eminem decided he had to get a real, you know what I mean, a real team behind them, yeah. <laughs> we all know the Jersey MC, the one hit wonder, pump, pump, pump it, pump it up. However that shit went, you know what I mean? I hated that song too, but it, it slid by, you know what I mean? But, you know, Joe, is, he a good MC. He did his thing on the mixtapes and the clues and all that. Yo, who remember that 50 Cent diss uh, Joe Buttons made Big Shot? I think I was the only one in the world kind of like liked that song. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. Joe, he was just good in the pocket here and there on good freestyles and all that. Then you got Royce the 5'9", Detroit native and all that. Good MC. I can't name one song he ever made. I ain't gonna front throw the joint with him and Westside Gun. You know how we a do. A while ago in Westside joint. That was all right, you know what I mean? But his freestyles, he be bodying it. The BET freestyle and all that. When he said, hi, Rihanna. Anything other than that, I don't know what Royce did. Oh, he was beefing with M too, so he should understand Joel O.T.'s plot. If y'all go back, he was beefing with M when M was popping and D12 and all that. He felt he was kind of left out the loop, and then he had to do a, like a new album with M and M. He said, "Yo, I'll throw you up the stairs, down the stairs, and throw you back up and some shit or whatever." Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I know Royce for though. But like, he should understand Joel O.T.'s because he went through the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got the West Coast MC Crooked Eye. Like he, you know what I mean, he was sounding like Death Row. He caught the ass into the Death Row era and all that. Like the, the only song I can remember, he was on like the Ashanti remix, The Rain On Me or whatever. That beat was hard. He did his thing on that. They say he a good lyricist, but I don't, I ain't never really, you know what I mean? Every time, I ain't never hear Crooked. I ain't, I'm going to keep it a buck. I ain't never, and then when he do come on, I still don't be hearing him. It's like nothing don't be really sticking to me. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect, no disrespect. I mean, he must be a lyricist. He made it that far to get, you know, noticeable and got in the group with Slaughterhouse and all that, so I guess he do his thing, but, you know, when, uh, over here, we, we, like, you know, eh, you know, yeah, 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 and then you got the Brooklyn representative, Cooper Projects, you know what I mean, Joel Ortiz, yeah, word, he been doing his thing for a long time, he's a phenomenal rapper, I ain't gonna hold you, yeah, 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 once upon a time, he was being produced by the dude named Rick Rude Music out of Queens, word, I ain't gonna front, yo, y'all need some beats, Reach out to yeah, him. Yeah, but he was working with Joel Ortiz way back when. He was working with a host of others. He's a major staple in the Queens hip-hop history scene. I ain't gonna front. Rick Rude, word, reach out to him. Check him out. <laughs> and it was at this time, Joel Ortiz, he was going by the rap name Quick. So that's why through the course of that IG Live, that's why you hear Joe Buttons and Royce the 5'9 keep referring to Joel Ortiz as Quick. You know what I mean? So if you know him for a long time or you, you know what I mean, an official friend of his or whatever, you know him as that, not Joel Ortiz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But later for all that, yo, Joe, yo, Joey, Miles, Miles, 
This is not the face you be wanting to invite niggas to the Frank stand, bro. That's like, come on, you two, you got grays in your heads, B. We don't do that. You already know what that lines you up for. <laughs> like, Joel Ortiz, he old Brooklyn. Like, like we don't play that. Like, you know what I mean? We don't invite people to the... Fr the only time you invite somebody to the Frank stand is when you want to get it on. You want to pop. We is on go time. Like, I'm saying this because I want you to swing. I want you... I, I just want to show that you belittle you to the most. Like, you know what I mean? And that's why he got off the joint so fast. I ain't going to front. I seen it. Like, I know, son, no, he from Cooper. They, they don't play over in Cooper Projects. Facts. Was Mouse dead wrong for doing that, inviting somebody to the Frank stand? <laughs> Leave a comment in the comment section. Now let's get into the live and see what actually happened. Crazy. I, I, I'm not with the weed thing. You know what I'm saying? I try to stay away from that because if we do tell me something weed me, I'm going to be having another issue in my hand. You know? You know? Tore that Best Buy up. Yeah, you're right. You, you want to talk to Joel? I don't care. I don't care. I think it's nasty talking to him a week before he put this album out, but I don't care. It's my guy. Yo. What's up, Joel? What's up, fellas? You you me, oh, you man. You tell me, my brother. Dogs. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, a, a bunch of people hitting me saying that y'all in here saying, basically calling us liars, dog. Well, y'all are lying. About? Mm, I mean, it's a laundry list of things, but I mean, you want to. No, nah, there's no laundry list, dog. Ain't nobody lying, dog. Y'all I mean, y'all, y'all are, are the ones with the issue. So what's, what's, why don't you. Oh, yeah, no, nah, the, 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 the issue, the issue, the issue, but lying is not happening. Like, let's keep it a buck. All we have said is that... Joel Ortiz, can I ask you a question? At, let me speak first, Joe, and then you, you're, you can ask whatever you want to ask, my friend. Um, so are you, are you willing to say that uh, there wasn't a deal on the table that um, y'all turned down? Y'all willing to say that? There's a, there was a deal. There was, a, there was a talks about a deal being on the table that we did not turn down. Of course yes. you turned it down. Of course you turned it down. And y'all spinning a narrative that me and Crook shit is a result of y'all turning that down, which is completely false. Why y'all doing that? Wait, Roy, Roy, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Royce, why you doing that? You know for a second, you know how long we've been trying to fight to get some sort of Slaughterhouse music out, correct? Correct. Mm, yes. Okay, thank you for being honest once. Now, Joe has been retired. He's taken that stance. I'm so I haven't been. I haven't been honest. You've been nah, not not completely, and that surprises me because you're a very very honest person, my friend. And I and I and I. So now all of a sudden I'm not honest after y'all y'all got a whole. No 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 no. I didn't say I didn't say y'all not. I didn't say you're not I'm honest. Huh? I said I said you haven't been being honest. I I I started by saying you're very honest, but you haven't been being honest at the moment for whatever reason, and I understand. That's fine. All I'm saying is Joe has been retired for a while, my friend, right? We know that. Joe has said that publicly. Joe has, you know, he hasn't beat around that bush. Yo, I'm chilling right now. Yo, I, he always entertained the idea because it was special and Joe was part of the creation of it. So he's always going to entertain it and get excited when we all on the phone. Granted, right? But Joe's retired. He doing okay, what he do. Let me, let, me, let me ask you a question quick. Go ahead. And you put this on everything you love. Okay. No, he's asking. Did you, did you, did me and you have a conversation where I told you, no, I don't want to do that deal that Tony put on the table? Me and you, no. Hmm. So me and I, you, I, no. How did I turn it down? Because all three of us was on the phone, me, you, and Crook, and you said, you're not doing that deal if it doesn't involve Joe rapping. Okay. Now. Did Joe say that he would he didn't want to be involved in that deal? Yes. And I'm and I'm gonna tell who you, you say exactly, that to? who he say that to. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you exactly how he said okay. that. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you exactly how I said that. Joe, yeah. hold yeah. tight. You yeah. good, you good, Joe. You gonna speak? I promise. Y'all been on the live, right? I'm in the live with y'all. I'm here. Quick. Right? So when we all was on the phone, right? This was the thing. Crook said, I spoke to Royce. I spoke to Joel. Joe called me. 
You feel me? Joe called me and said, listen, mm -hmm. um, quick, what you think about this shit? I said, this shit is solid. This is a crook bringing in something. This is solid. Like, he said, I bet. As soon as I get off the phone with you, I'm calling crook. We're going to talk about this shit. And that never, ever, ever, ever happened. Ever. So I'm still waiting on you to tell me when we turned it down. Me too. No, all right. Well, I'm going to tell you when you turned it down because you said you're not doing it without Joe. Royce. That's a turn down. That's a turn down. Me so saying I'm not doing it without Joe, but Joe. You said I'm not doing. You said I'm not doing no no slaughterhouse music. I'm not doing no three man. It's not the same without Joe Button. I'm not doing it. That's a turn down. Oh shit, yo. Joe. It's crazy. This did you ever tell any of these dudes that you wasn't that you wasn't with doing this deal with Tony? Never came out my mouth ever. I won't. So what are we talking about, Quit? Y'all in here capping, dog. Tell us when. Y'all in here. Tell us when. Joel, I just want to know. I just want to know, like, because if that was the case, I would be well within my right to take that position. I have no reason to lie about taking that position. I'm not incentivized in any way, my brother. I'm not being paid by anybody. I'm not here speaking on behalf of anybody but myself. I'm not taking a side. I never have taken a side. I know that there's been issues. I've always been the one that has been in the middle, brother. Joe never said that he wasn't didn't want to do that deal. He only had questions about the way that the business would be as it pertains to that deal. We, Nobody we, never said we're not doing the deal. Y'all said y'all wasn't doing the deal. That's one. Second when? thing is when? It, I'm yo, asking when? you to tell us when. This is first of all, I right, listen. First of all, this is the <laughs> most dialogue Slaughterhouse has had in so no years one, come because come me quick, and quick, Crook let's is not, rocking let's and not, rolling. Here. Let's not let's not be all over the place here. Let's just stick to let's just stick to specifics. When? When did Joe turn down the deal? When? On what the phone the conversation. On the phone. When? On the phone. Who was on who who all was on this call? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, yo. Stop. That nigga said yo, yeah, I can't Joel, believe Joel, it. Joel, just answer the question, heavy. my brother. I really I really can't believe y'all in here doing all this. Like where was all of this energy when niggas was trying to save Please the group? Answer the energy when Crook is bring a bag to the table for us to Joel, rock. just answer the question. What's the question? When did Joe turn down the deal? What was the call? Who was on the call? Okay, Joe turned down the deal numerous occasions, my friend. Numerous occasions. Yeah, nu numerous, numerous occasions. He has said he's not rocking with the group. I don't understand why this is new information. So we talking about the, we, we talking well, about we well, talking about the Tony the Tony well, deal. Yo, well, Ortiz, you are a fucking liar, yo. Get the and fuck out of here, dog. And listening to your fucking ass lie, you are a fucking liar. And for you to do that to me and him, to you and him, what? Are y'all serious? Y'all not serious, dog. Y'all not serious, dog. Y'all out here running around with a wild ass narrative lying about me and Crook like we went and took a bag. Y'all got people saying we out here doing things for a bag. I never done nothing for a bag. Y'all know me better than that. That is exactly what I'm Listen, if that anybody's spinning a narrative, it's y'all two gentlemen. What narrative? Especially you, Royce. You out here talking about the 25%. You had 25% and you burned it down. You're doing all types of uh, mathematical equations about uh, fucking housing ownership and shit like that. The bottom line is this. Crooked bring a bag to the table for something that y'all ain't been fucking with for a long time, right? Yeah, but you can't, but you can't say that. You can't say I haven't been fucking with it for a long time. Why, hey, that ain't even the part I got an issue yeah, with. Yeah, what gives you what, you, what you got an issue with? What okay. gives you the right to tell me what I'm fucking what with? Like, that's not fair. What you yeah. got an issue? What you listen, how about this? How about this? Y'all tell me what y'all got an issue with and I'll address it. What you got an issue with, Joe? All of it. All of what? <laughs> all of what, Joe? No, nah, don't no don't do that. All of what? <laughs> see the smirk on Royce the five nine face says a lot. You know what I mean? It says that he see Joel Ortiz and Crooked Eye like they defeated. They trying to do anything for clout, and he feel that Joe and him have a little leverage over the group. You know what I mean? And he's basking in it. Look at him. All of what? Hey, quick. <clears throat> What, what was the what was the purpose of us of us going through that lengthy process of taking the group off of Shady? What was the purpose of doing that? We all did that, man. We together. We did that together. We did that together, and and it was a big old yo. Once we get off Shady, we gonna rock and roll and do all this. There's a lot of address on the album. I know, that. I know, and that that's what this is about. That's what this is about, and that's what the, what my issue is. 
this is about driving traffic to your album. And I'm trying to figure out why are you, why does it have to be at, at the brand's expense? Why couldn't y'all just make another album like y'all did the last one, the hard joint? <laughs> Yo, Royce the Five Nine, you being real funny. Think about it. I ain't even never hear about this album until you said it on live yesterday. Obviously, it ain't do nothing. To, no, like it ain't reach no ears. You know what I'm saying? Like they kind of. It looks like they need you and Joe for the pub or whatever the case may be. But I'm just saying, I don't know. But yo, if y'all heard this album right here, hard, leave a comment in the comment section. How was it? I'm not listening to it. The one that y'all supported? I supported it. I didn't. Did you? I support everything you do, Joel. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I didn't get a listen. It's not even about that. I'm not even gonna do that. Obviously, right. it is, brother. No, it's no, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's just what what surprises me is how me and Crook are telling the truth about what happened with the group. And now all of a sudden we get all the smoke and all the support from y'all. That has never been there. Y'all are exploiting is what you're doing. And it's not exploiting. What do you mean exploiting, Joe? You what if what have I said that hasn't been 100? We we released two tracks, vacancy and backstage. Point to anything I said ha that hasn't been true. Joe, yeah, all of this is nasty for real. What's that? You don't see how all of this is nasty, honestly. I don't see how any of this is nasty. I mean, for 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 uh for whoever ain't keeping it funky, yeah, maybe. I'm not mad at any. That's the crazy part is I jumped in this shit because niggas is calling me a liar. You're not going to sit there and do that, man. Y'all know what it is. And y'all know I don't even do none of this social media shit like that. I don't be on live. <laughs> I don't do none of this stuff. This is, I, I'm in a different space right now. Y'all know, oh, y'all got a phone number. We could do, we could have did all of this shit way behind the scenes, man. I text you. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel have you, ever... you text me, Joe, hey, Joel. you text me a Joel, let me ask you, let me ask you a question, brother. Hold on, Royce. Have, have you ever, have you ever. Hold on, Royce. Hold on. Hold on one second, Royce. I got you. Bro, Joe, you text me a set of eyes, bro. After we after, after me and Crook put put the uh, our logo up, you text me a set of eyes. What the fuck is that? Well, see, that's just the thing. You didn't put your logo. You don't have a logo, Joel. Do you know that you and Crook don't have a logo? I have a logo, bro. The pig on fire is not you and Crook's logo, Joel. Oh, whose whose logo is it? Yo, if this is not hip hop, learning lesson 101, rules to the game, oh my gosh. Do y'all did y'all even acknowledge what took place right here? Forget the Frank Stan stuff, whatever. He said, yo, that logo not yours. You know how we and you do. heard Joel Ortiz kind of studied like, what 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 you mean? What are you talking about? And you seen Joe eyeballs? Joe, like, I don't know. I think somebody got that. Somebody owned that. I don't know if it's an NFT or whatever, but it might be hell up in Harlem. Or better yet, hell up in Jersey. <laughs> Yo, get your paperwork together, man. The pig on fire is not you and Crook's logo, Joel. Oh, whose who's logo is it? Hmm, papi, you don't know? You don't know what's going on, papi? Uh-oh. Whose logo is that? I'm not going to do this on the live, Joel Ortiz. Joe, who's who's whose logo is that, homie? Who's who's lo whose logo is that? What are you talking about? The pig on fire. We ever did anything with a pig on fire? What are we doing here? Worse, like, come on with the fucking the bullshit. The bottom line is this: <laughs> it was a deal on the table. Joe, well, you retired. Royce, you ain't one of three men well, week with us for well, whatever well, reason. Well, when, I want to about the deal, yo. When huh? did the deal get turned? When did the deal get turned down? You still haven't answered that question. I want to hear more about this. That's deal. playing word semantics, man. I don't know. No, no we ain't. No, we Real clear. <laughs> no, y'all playing word semantics. Like, when did the wheel, the uh, deal get turned down? What are you talking about, man? You still okay. haven't answered it. And I want to know what the deal was. <laughs> Roy, tell them what the deal was. Y'all came. To, Crook came to the table and said, "Tony." Tony was putting the situation on the table through a major where we would get, we were all, he talked about the amount that the advances would be. And that was as far as we got. Right. Right. Joe wanted to know more. Joe wanted to know about more than just the advances, but what would the terms of the deal be? The terms of the deal never even made it to a piece of paper, to a deal memo. And all Joe did was ask questions, but never did either one of us say, no, we're not doing it. Really? 
Yes. Absolutely. Really? Yes. Y'all both lying, man. Y'all both lying, man. Well, I'm good. Dude, this is, this is insane to me. Y'all both, why y'all both lying, man? I get nothing out of lying about this show. Of course you do. You wouldn't even be talking about this if you ain't feel you had to, bro. It's on your, it's on your. All right, see, bro. wait, let me make myself clear. Yeah, go ahead. I'm bigger than whatever y'all doing. Oh, no. according, according to who? Me. All right, that's cool. So am I, I'm bigger than everything y'all doing. I, I'm not responding to this because I feel pressured by your fake boosted fucking numbers. Nigga. Fake you boosted numbers? Get the fuck out of here, man. You, <laughs> mad, you mad, son. You mad. You see niggas is in that inbox. Niggas is in that inbox bothering you. I promise you they're not, yo. It's Cobb. And that's the problem. Like, we, we're we not looking at things the same, yo. Joel, you're wrong about some of the stuff you're saying, yo. You're wrong about what you're saying. And I understand you niggas is doing whatever y'all got to do. But to do it at the expense of people that you have spent that much time with, it just it just looks away. It does. And I don't know. Yo, Joe, you, you realize how you make it about you? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Are you making this about you? This is how much you feel yourself that you're making this about you? I'm in, Listen, Slaughterhouse is just as much my story as it's your story, as it's Crook's story, as it's Roy's story. Absolutely. Me and Crook are telling what it is on our side. This is not about you. You're involved because you're part of the brand, just like Roy says. This is not about you. If you want to defend yourself, Yo, listen, well, listen hold on, hold on. If you, want to defend, if you want to defend yourself, if well, you want to defend yourself or speak your truth, you know how to get to it. You've been doing this a long time. It's not on the podcast. Hurt somebody that I care about. Huh? I'm involved because y'all hurt some, y'all hurt, I was hurt, and y'all hurt somebody that I care about, and y'all were silly enough to name your shit something to where, hey, 25% of that is mine if I feel like pursuing it. That's why I'm involved. I'm not involved in this fucking clown show because I want to be a, you fucking shitting me? I got a girl to call back right now. It's 11 15. I'm in a strip club in a minute. You think I'm trying to be involved in this nasty ass shit that you and this nigga's doing? Y'all look disgusting. Yo, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, Why y'all on a live? Yo, yo, why y'all on a live? I don't even want that then? for you. Why y'all on a live? Why wait, you and Royce on a live? Wait, if you let me say what involved? I'm saying. I love you so much, nigga. I don't even want this nasty fuck shit for you. For me? I'm good, yo. Oh, no, regardless of the narrative y'all spin that we needed a bag you're and we did it for good, you. I'm so good, man. You're not good. What are you talking about? You're not good. I am very, good. very good, my friend. You're not good. I am very good, my friend. What are you talking about? You're not good. You're I'm not very good. good, man. You making it nastier than it needs to be because y'all afraid to just be like, I wasn't fucking with it, right? You wasn't fucking with it, Joe. That's fine. It's all good. And Royce, you wasn't fucking with it if Joe wasn't involved well, for whatever reason. Well, and that's fine, my well, guy. But well, let us tell it what it is. Let oh, us tell what it is. Yo, let me tell you what it is. You know what? Because I got shit to do tonight, and it's a fucking Friday. Let me tell you. Slaughterhouse had bad fucking business. You agree? Slaughterhouse had horrible business. At some point, that had to change Some for somebody. We were actively in a group. And I was saying, hey, while I was there, hey, let's get this right. The business ain't right. It's your manager. It's his manager. It's this manager. It's my manager fucking this. It, it's a fucking mess. Hey, this person ain't allowed up there. Hey, Eminem is doing this. They picking the stuff. Like, it was a fucking mess. Joe didn't want no part of it. Joe didn't want no part of a mess. At some point, you know better, you do better. You, what you, I said to now, you, now, oh, now, Hold up. Now you're speaking truths. Continue. Go ahead. What I said to y'all was very simple. Yo, I'm not doing nothing while we over there. Hey, and over there made themselves clear too. Yo, we don't want nothing to do with Joe. That was ages ago, quick. That was 2000 and whatever year that was. So it took a lot of steps and conversations through tension, hurdles, and turmoil for us to even be in agreement to get this thing off of there. Y'all skip that in your little cutesy fucking songs. I don't hear <laughs> you, you was feeling that. You was feeling that truth we spit. Go ahead, though. 
You niggas is liars. I don't hear that part in your. You lying. Story. You lying. You lying. Don't that we liars. Don't call me a liar on air when you what? know I spit nothing but the facts, my brother. This isn't. This isn't going anywhere. But this. Oh. What I say to you is this. I'm just saying this, Joel. You do with this whatever you want. Something that you own, you had it in your possession for less than a year and decided to try to destroy it. Dog, I had this shit in my possession for the last 10, 11 years. What are you talking about? We, you you know, talking about the state it was in in the last year? That's a lot different than what you're talking about. See, Joel don't even understand that, and I say, so it's tough for me. I, I, I understand everything you say, man. Joel, you speak, listen, listen. It's Joel, been Joel. Late for less than a year is what I'm saying. I'm not talking about what the it's fuck been a little, the last year. Okay, it's, it's been a little over. label for less than a year. And Joel, this is what you decided. What the fuck? What, listen to me. What the fuck was going to happen that didn't happen? What that what was what was about to happen that we fucked up in this year? Honestly, we've been off the label for a year. What I'm did I, what did me and Crook I'm speaking done. our truth I'm done, yo. fuck up in this last year that y'all that we didn't get to while you was over potting and Royce was doing what he was doing? What the what what happened? What did well, I miss? I love what was you. the big fuck up? I, I, I want to know what, how this got twisted up. Yo, well, I love you and I want nothing but the best for you. So then, nigga, uh, listen to the uh, album then. That's it. Fuck with the album, bro. Excuse fuck with the album, bro. Fuck with the album. If you want nothing but fuck with the album, man. Tell people to listen to the album, son. Tell all that album. Cause fuck my dick. Are you kidding me? I, 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 I stand love what the wee wee thing. You know what I'm saying? I try to stay away from that because if we do tell me seconds wee wee, I'm gonna be having another issue in my hand. You know? You know? Like, suck my dick. Don't go there. Don't do that. You want bro, me to do that? People to this clown show? All right, I'm out, man. All right, one. The fuck out of here with I'm that out. shit, man. So, you know, yo, Joe, that little, little comment, that little comment, that little comment right there, you're going to wish you retracted that one. I'm out, one. <laughs> you know how we do.